Hey guys, here I am doing my second video for today because there is not a damn thing else to do and I'm on a roll. Um, and I'm not shooting vertically in this video because I am an informed citizen and I learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so, uh, really sorry about the 16 millimeter video. Um, I, I'm uploading it right now uh, as we speak. It's, you know, uploading to YouTube. So I hope it's not too much trouble with the... Uh, vertical filming. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I've, don't have my head on right, I guess, because I've been stuck in the house for like three weeks now, so there's not much else to do, but I've got a good, uh, a good video for you guys planned today. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my, um, my favorite flash camera I have, the 1953 Ansco Sure Flash. This is a good little camera. Um, it can be used as a flash camera, you know, like so. Or, actually, what's nice is if you don't need the flash, it comes off and kind of becomes just a, a regular box camera. So you can do either or. You can carry the flash around your camera bag with you. But, uh, yeah, it's a good little camera. It's nothing short of your typical old box camera, except this one doesn't have a top viewfinder. It's got this eye-level viewfinder here on the side it's got a good nice dark red window which is nice that's what you want and it's got a push button um, shutter release there that's, that's how you take pictures um, so this camera takes 120 film which uh, it says right here ansco 120 film for best results I don't think you can buy ansco film anymore in fact I'm pretty sure you can't buy ansco film anymore but uh it's a really easy camera to load um i've had you know i've i've let my uh my little cousins and stuff you know mess around and take pictures and they figured it out in no time it's pretty easy to use um to open this camera you've you've just got to pull out your advanced knob there pull it out all the way it's kind of a locking mechanism and then just pull that flat back and your insides come right out. That's what it looks like in there. It's a nice cardboard interior. You can see the uh, shutter going off right there. But this is your film carriage. This is what it goes in. It's just a little cardboard and metal cone type thing. Um, first, what you want to do is take out your take up spool now on this one the film uh, the full film goes at the bottom and wraps around here and goes up to the take up spool a lot of them are different some box cameras you they don't have this middle part you just load everything in the camera um, but this particular one this is how it works so I've actually got three different spools of film here <laughs> this one is unopened this is like when you get out of the box or you buy them single at your, your camera store or whatever this is what they come in, just these little foil packets. This is 120 film. This is Kodak Ektar 100. It's a really cool high saturation film. It reminds me a lot of Kodachrome because um, you can't get Kodachrome anymore. So this is like the next best thing. It's like really kind of those unnaturally saturated deep colors. But I, I like that. You know, a lot of people don't like that, but... That's that's what I'm going for. When I take color pictures, I want them to look like Kodachrome. So this is what your film is going to come in. Um, now, for demonstration purposes, I have this old crappy film that I'm not really sure why it got exposed, but it did. So I just I'm using it for these purposes. And then I've got an exposed roll of film that I just took the last pictures on yesterday of our cat's birthday. Uh, that was something my wife organized because we're going insane here in quarantine. So we had a birthday for the cat and uh, took pictures. So this is what it looks like when it's exposed. I'll get into all these in a second. Um, so let's just go ahead and load this thing. Like I said, this one, um, it's, you know, it's got a little arrow right here. It points up. It says key side. So this is where you wind it. So your take-up spool is going to go up here where the key goes. And your full film spool is going to go down on the bottom. So what you do is when you get this film, 
you unwrap it, it's going to look like this. It's going to have this paper ribbon that goes all the way around. You just take that off. And then you can unfold your little guy right here. Now, careful not to unroll it too far, but if you just if you just kind of keep, um, you use it conservatively, you're not going to unroll it too far. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But you take your film, it has this little tab, and we're just going to stick it in our film carriage. It just kind of goes between those pins, like that. And then we're going to roll it, like this, up around. And this is when I like to take my take-up spool. This is kind of why I keep it off. I think it's a lot easier to do it when the take-up spool is off the camera. And we're going to put the end of our film in our take-up spool. Secure it on there, give it a couple good winds. And then we're just going to pull our take-up spool up and put it in place. So when you're all loaded up, this is what it's going to look like. You've got your full film going around to your take-up. Then we're just going to take this, stick it back in the camera, close her up, and we're going to wind our film. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank this turn handle, and we're going to watch this little red window. So just keep an eye right there on that little red window. Takes, this is the suspenseful part. You just, you just gotta wait. Don't go too fast until you get the hang of it. There's some arrows. Then what we're looking for next is the word Kodak, and that'll be followed by what looks like a couple lines, but that's the number one. There's Kodak, and one. And we're gonna put that right in the middle of that red window. So you take your shot, you know, find whatever, take your picture, and then, before you do anything else, we're going to wind our film again. There's Kodak. Two, so forth. Three, four, you know, all that stuff. So when you take all your pictures, this one takes eight. These rectangular 120 cameras um, take eight exposures. So when you're done, there's six, seven... All right, eight. So you just took your last picture. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to watch your red window. You're going to wind until you see the paper come up. There's the end of your film. Got some words right there. There it goes. All right, there goes the paper. So now what you're going to do is you're going to give it just a couple good winds to make sure it's rolled up in there. Then we're just going to take it out. It's safe to take out once it's all rolled up. I wouldn't keep it in the light too much, but you know you can stick it in your pocket, and or you can keep it on the shelf till you take it to the camera store next. And then this is all chewed up because it's an old roll of film. What we're going to do it says right here, fold under before sealing. So what we're going to do is we're going to just fold this little guy right here. And then I'm not going to do it because I'm going to reuse this for other videos. But you're going to lick this side like a stamp. And then you're going to fold it over like that. And what that looks like when you're done is this. It's all folded up in a nice little roll. So you can take it, get it developed, whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's how you use this camera. Now I'll... Uh, burn a flash bulb for you here you can get flash bulbs on um, etsy ebay amazon antique stores my camera store that i go to it's actually a few towns over from me it's in boise but um they have a, a big stock of old flash bulbs from you know back in the day they're an old camera store and uh so that's where i get my flash bulbs but i've gotten them out of the antique stores and online and everything like that too so once you got your bulb loaded and you want to take a, a flash picture indoors you just pull this there you go flashes and uh, typically you you pull that and it pops out but the spring in this one is kind of uh, 
kind of getting old, then you uh, wait till this cools down and throw it away. There's a used flash bulb for you. So I'd get you one of these flash cameras and piss everyone off at the next family gathering. That's what I do. Hey, let's take a picture. Flash them and everybody complains. And it's great. Really good. Just family bonding time. So <laughs> there you go. This is the Ansco Sure Flash camera from uh, Binghamton, New York. That's where it was manufactured from about 1953. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Now, I forgot to mention in this video, this particular camera takes what is known as a 5B flash bulb. Um, that's just important information for when you want to, you're searching it or you find them, and it'll always be printed on the box. Uh, 5B or Press 25. Um, just two different names for the same thing. Uh, if Sylvania made it, it's a Press 25. If General Electric made it, it's a 5B. Same thing. You can get the blue ones or the clear ones. I've had both. They both work the same. Uh, blue just kind of naturalizes the color a little more, so it's not such a bright flash, you know, flooding your picture. But, yeah, I realized I forgot to mention that in the video. That's what you want to look for is uh, either 5B flash bulbs or Press 25 flash bulbs. Thanks for watching.